I've been so alone ever since I left the tribe. That's just how it goes, cause I like the lonely. G'day guys and welcome to another fun little video in AFL Evolution and uh, today we're going to be playing the 2005-2006 uh, Grand Final whichever one you want really because West Coast and Sydney played in both of them so they're pretty much the same thing um, but for this video I'm going to be playing as West Coast um, as you can see there it's got West Coast 2006 and then Sydney 2005 unfortunately I couldn't find um, two corresponding years but doesn't matter too much they are pretty much the same teams and uh, yeah, there's not much else to say really. I was probably about four or five when these two teams um, faced off in the grand final, so I don't remember anything of it. But uh, you know, I know West Coast won one of them, and then Sydney won another one. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's head into it and uh, let's hope for a cracking match. Alrighty, here we are at the mighty MCG once again for this 2005-2006 grand final. Um, have a look at the crowd, they're already starting again, and you can see the shades of red. Can't see many uh, West Coast fans at the moment, there's the teams. Oh, Chris Judd, is, he's the first person that I saw. you got Dean Cox, um, Darren Glass I saw as well. Leo Barry for Sydney, what a star he was. Uh, Leo Barry, you star, if you know what I mean. Um, Barry Hall, there he is, looks pretty young than he normally was, but um, yeah, we'll skip all this. And by the way, there was a new patch for AFL Evo, which I think I've mentioned before. Um, I can't quite remember, but I tell you what, the gameplay is just phenomenal now. Um, it's so much better than it was before. And they also added three and a half minute quarters and seven and a half minute quarters. Um, so I've gone three and a half for this game to get through it nice and quick. Not too quick, obviously, but uh, yeah, here we go. First bounce, big game, and uh, yeah, as West Coast, I probably want them to win, but. I'm, I'm sort of a neutral at the moment, so I don't really mind who wins. Sydney get the first inside 50, and big Bazza Hall takes the first mark inside 50. Has a shot, and he has split the sticks there. Great kick. Sydney kick the first goal, and let's hope they don't get too far ahead. We definitely want to um, keep this game close and make sure it finishes uh, nice and well. Here's Barry Hall again. I think it's Barry Hall. It is too. He's kicked his second goal just like that. Just inside 50, gets the hands off from someone, and then just slots it home. Here it is here. You can also see Adam Goods there. He's another player that I didn't mention at the start of the match. Right on the 50, takes a shot, and he's nailed that one. Sydney hit the first two. Yes, good mark. Tyson Stengling. I'm not even... I have no idea who that is, but anyway, let's hope he can slot this one. Wins a little strong. Not too bad, though. Um, let's hope we can kick our first goal after Sydney hit the flat the the first four, and it looked like he slotted it. There it is. Finally, we were on the board for a goal, and uh, yeah, I need a couple more and make sure we don't uh, let Sydney get too far ahead. Oh my God, Barry Hole, he's just way too strong. He takes another mark, and has he kicked this one? Looks like he hasn't. They've kicked a few points now, they're four and three. Um, luckily, it's not seven and zero, bloody hell. It'd be smashing if it was that. And there's quarter time. Not the best quarter um, for West Coast, definitely. With a Sydney currently led us by 20 points. And um, I was thinking throughout that quarter, if I ever do things like this again, should I just be like in the middle and not actually play for a team? Should I just watch it and uh, commentate over it? But uh, I'm not quite sure yet. Maybe should you guys suggest something down below on uh, how I should do this. But uh, yeah, Ashley Sampia has the most disposals for us uh, so far. He's got four. Tyson Stengling, Stenglin, Stenglin maybe. It's hard to pronounce that name. He's kicked down on the goal. Um, big Bazza Hall with two goals. Brett Kirk and Barry Hall both with six disposals. So uh, yeah, pretty good quarter. That's only three and a half minutes, but still there's a pretty high scores. And uh, yeah, it doesn't feel too short as well. Jude Bolton inside 50 now. You'd think he'd be able to kick this one. Pretty easy angle. Yeah, no problems there. Straight through the middle. Sydney kick another goal, and what I'm going to do now, I'll just pause it there, I'm going to, I'm getting smashed at the moment, but uh, what I'm going to do, go option, no it's side select isn't it, we'll go side select, we'll go to the middle, and uh, we're just going to watch it, because uh, I just want to see if West Coast can make a comeback, we've, we've got them off to a bad start, but yeah, let's see what happens. Whoa, what a shot, that's a bloody goal from Bo Waters, brilliant shot just outside 50, and uh, you never know. I mean, they're probably going to play better with me without me controlling them because I was playing pretty terrible. I think it's on, like, legend difficulty at the moment, so probably should have taken that down a little bit. But, yeah, what a shot from Bo Waters. It was a real low-driven shot, but uh, still got there in the end. 
Whoa, Adam, good. Takes a huge mark. And then he plays on for some weird reason. And uh, here they go again, Sydney. Gets it back to him. Ashley Sampy got pushed in the back. No, he didn't. He, he must have pushed someone in the back. But uh, gets it over to Ryan O'Keefe. Can he slot this one outside 50? Surely not. Doesn't go for the shot. And Paul Williams out the back takes a mark. And uh, pretty much directly in front. Shouldn't have any troubles here. And, oh, just nearly hitting the post. Sydney kick another goal. And uh, margin's getting even bigger now. Just about to get to half time. Can West Coast get one more kick inside 50? Doesn't look like they will. And there's half time. Sydney's still piling on a few more goals. They lead West Coast by 28 points. And even after I stopped controlling West Coast, they still they kicked like one or two goals. They must kick one goal, actually. Um, but, yeah, it seems a little even. Um, not on the scoreboard, obviously. But, yeah, check out the individual performances. Adam Goods, Brett Kirk, both with eight disposals. Um, Barry Hall still with two goals. Ashley Sampy still our leading uh, disposal getter, you could call him. Um, he's got five. And then Adam Hunter with four disposals. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's head into the second half and see if West Coast can make a miraculous comeback in this uh, grand final. Darren Jolly, a bit weird seeing him in Sydney colours. I've, I've known him at Collingwood for the past, even though he doesn't play anymore, but um, yeah, I don't remember him playing for Sydney. And there's Chris Judd as well. A bit weird seeing him with hair. Number three for uh, West Coast. What a kick. Barry Hall, he's almost taken that from the centre bounce. That's a huge kick. Well, if it shows a replay, I'm not sure if it will. Um, but yeah, what a bloody massive kick that was. And uh, no replay by the looks of things. But, uh, geez, that's a huge kick. I haven't seen um, a CPU take a kick from that distance before. Oh, that's just way too easy for Sydney. And, oh, somehow hit the post. That is just terrible from O'Loughlin. I think that's how you pronounce it, but bloody hell. That was an easy kick off the ground, and he's absolutely sprayed it. How it somehow hit the post. And just as there's about four minutes left in the third quarter, um, you wouldn't really think West Coast can come back. Although I've got a mark here with Daniel Chick, if he can kick this one, and might be in with a chance. Um, but yeah, that West Coast have never really had a good win-loss ratio uh, at the MCG. I don't know what it is, but they've always played pretty bad here. Um, probably because they don't play many games at all each season. And, oh, Ashley Hansen's missed that one. That's a costly miss. Daniel Chick again. You'd think he'd be able to go take a shot from here because uh, the other one was just outside the 50. It's coming back, is it? No, it's not. There's another behind for West Coast. Their kicking is terrible today. And uh, they're 2-3 and three at the moment. Sydney's 7 uh, goals, 7 behinds. 19 seconds left. That's probably about 4 or 5 seconds in real life time. But, uh, ooh, Adam Hunter, will he take the shot? He's going to go for it. You wouldn't think he'd make the bloody distance. Uh, it's a pretty good effort. But, uh, yeah, that's three-quarter time. And, uh, yeah... One quarter left for West Coast to come back. 34-point lead to the Sydney Swans. And uh, they'd be feeling pretty comfortable at the moment. Um, individual performances. Adam Goods, Darren Jolly, both with 12 uh, disposals. And then Ashley Sampy, Bo Waters has caught up to him, actually, both with six. Um, but, yeah, nothing much has changed. Still pretty low scores, as you'd expect for three-and-a-half-minute quarters. But, uh, yeah, let's see what happens next. Here's Brett Kirk. Bit of space. Gets it to Goods, to Jolly. And then to Barry Hall, four huge names there. And then Hall kicks an absolute beauty. How about that play from Sydney? Straight through the middle from one side to the other. And uh, Hall kicks his third goal. Have a look at this. One handball, two handballs, a kick. Then Hall plays on. He's got all the time in the world and uh, slots that one home. Luke Ablett takes a mark now. And uh, he'll line up for a goal. Has he kicked it? Looks like he hasn't. Um, but yeah, eight minutes left in this fourth quarter. Sydney's still piling on the goals and the points as well. West Coast, I don't know what's going on with them. Um, I mean, I didn't get them, get them off to the best start. I think they, I think when I um, stopped controlling them, they were like, I don't know, 20 or 30 points down. I think it was like 20. Good mark, Brett Jones. Um, but yeah, a couple of goals for West Coast. And it'll look a little uh, more uh, real on the scoreboard. Oh, massive spin move there. That was great. And then Adam Schneider takes a mark. He's got someone in the square. Doesn't take him, though. Uh, how was that? How about that spin move? He spun about two players um, and broke their ankles almost. Adam Schneider, though, kicks a point. 
And uh, yeah, three minutes left. The final siren's just about to go, and Sydney can celebrate all night long. Um, but yeah, one thing that they uh, they probably need to fix though is right there when um, like you've got a player sitting in the goal square waiting to kick it out, and they sit there for at least I don't know ten seconds. Whoa, what a shot there! Is that Barry Hall? No, it's not. It's Nick Fosdyke. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He kicks his first goal, and uh, Sydney put another nail in the coffin. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, they probably need to fix the amount of time that the player spends in the square when he's kicking it out. But uh, that's just my opinion. There's the final siren, and the Sydney Swans have won it by, I think, 57 points. Huge margin for a grand final. It's not actually a grand final, but we just say it is. Um, but yeah, massive margin. Not much crowd there. Um, two um, sides that aren't from Melbourne, you probably wouldn't expect too much crowd. Uh, but there it is, Adam Goods with the uh, best performance, probably 15 disposals and one goal. Um, Barry Hall with three goals there. Adam Hunter for the West Coast Eagles as well as Bo Waters, both with seven. But uh, yeah, that'll do it for this one, guys. And uh, if you've enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like and also subscribe for future content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.